Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary of biblical and secular historical literature. So enjoy. Ancient Egyptians, the secret cover-up. Ancient Times, James Henry Rusty. Historian John G. Jackson. I think that they're trying to cover up something. A lot of them have taken the position that the African is the low man on the totem pole and everybody had to be ahead of him. Some of these people are just plain lying because they have to have capital in order to operate. James Henry Breasted is a fine example. He published a high school textbook in 1916 called Ancient Times. It had two very fine chapters on Egypt, and he plainly states in there that the ancient Egyptians were not white folks, but a brown-skinned race. And then he needed money to establish the Oriental Institute and to do research in Egypt. John D. Rockefeller Jr. gave him $1.5 million, and then Breasted got out a new edition of his book, and the Egyptians became members of the great white race. In other words, in order to get Rockefeller's money, he had to switch over the Egyptians, the great white race. Africans' presence in early Asia, page 202. The ancient Egyptians were a brown-skinned race. James Henry Breasted, born August 27, 1865, died December 2, 1935. American archaeologist, Egyptologist, and historian. In 1919, he founded the Oriental Institute at the University of Chicago, a center for interdisciplinary study of ancient civilizations. James Henry Breasted. The ancient Egyptians are a brown-skinned race. Ancient Times, a history of the early world. An introduction to the study of ancient history and the career of early man by James Henry Breasted late director of the Oriental Institute in the University of Chicago. Ancient Egyptians, Ancient Times, James Henry Breasted. Page 57. This drawing, based on ancient Egyptian reliefs. James Henry Breasted needed money to establish the Oriental Institute and to do research in Egypt. John D. Rockefeller, Jr. 
gave him $1.5 million. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 7 Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad and a gift destroyeth the heart. And then rested got out a new edition of his book. And the Egyptians became members of the great white race. In other words, in order to get Rockefeller's money, he had to switch over the Egyptians to the great white race. The ability to deal with people is as purchasable a commodity as sugar or coffee. And I will pay more for that ability than for any other under the sun. John D. Rockefeller. John D. Rockefeller. John D. Rockefeller. Junior. I was born into it. Wealth. There was nothing I could do about it. It was there, like air or food or any other element. The only question with wealth is what to do with it. It can be used for evil purposes, or it can be an instrumentality for Constructive Social Living John D. Rockefeller, Jr. Scientific American Race is a social construct, scientists argue. Racial categories are weak proxies for genetic diversity and need to be phased out. More than 100 years ago, American sociologist W.E.B. Du Bois was concerned that race was being used as a biological explanation for what he understood to be social and cultural differences between different populations of people. He spoke out against the idea of white and black as discrete groups, claiming that these distinctions ignored the scope of human diversity. Numbers chapter 1 verse 18, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their poles. Originally, paternal descent determined your nationality, not skin color. Or race. Wikipedia. Oriental Institute. In the city of Chicago. The Oriental Institute. Established in 1919. Is the University of Chicago's. Interdisciplinary Research Center. For Ancient Near Eastern Orient. Studies in Archaeology Museum. It was founded for the university by Professor James Henry Breasted with funds donated by John E. Rockefeller Jr. 
It conducts research on ancient civilizations throughout the Near East, including at its facility, Chicago House in Luxor, Egypt. The Institute publicly exhibits an extensive collection of artifacts related to ancient civilizations at its own campus building in Hyde Park, Chicago. According to anthropologist William Parkinson of the Field Museum, the OI's highly focused Near Eastern or Southwestern Asian and Egyptian collection is one of the finest in the world. The Oriental Institute Marketing heritage, archaeology, and the consumption of the past. Americans too saw world history in racial terms. In a more explicitly political racial discourse on ancient Egypt soon surfaced in the work of American Egyptologist James Henry Breasted. In his 1926 synthesis of the history of the ancient world, The Conquest of Civilization, Breasted placed the ancient Egyptians in the great white race, notwithstanding their tanned skins. This great white race included the Egyptians or Europeans and the Semites of the ancient Near East, page 62. These peoples were responsible collectively for the creation of civilization. What is striking about Breasted's racism is his evident desire to dehistoricize civilization. Breasted did not imagine that the civilizations of the ancient Near East and the modern West were linked solely by a chain of contingent events. The real linkage was racial. The evolution of civilization, he wrote, has been the achievement of the great white race. That is, one civilization one achievement, one race. It is noteworthy that even today, the U.S. government, though dropping Breasted's great from its name for the white race, regards whiteness in much the same way Breasted did. As a class comprising people having origins in any of the original peoples of Europe, the Middle East, or North Africa. Next, originally the peoples of Europe, Middle East, and North Africa were classified as members of the brown race. Page 